Telling time. We're going to do some practice here. We're at lesson 7.6. Now it's really important that you realize that there's six previous videos before this one, starting with 7.1. You can check this video's description and there'll be links to those previous videos. If you haven't seen them yet, you might become lost or confused. Okay, so check the description of this video to go back to the beginning. All right. Now, so far, we have learned how long a minute is, the parts of a clock, telling time to the hour and half hour, time to five minutes, telling time to the minute, and telling time to the quarter hour. So now let's practice what we've learned. Remember that the front of the clock is called a face. The long hand is the minute hand. That's the thick blue one. And the short hand is the hour hand. That's the little red one. And not all clocks, but some analog clocks have another hand called the second hand. And it goes around quicker. You can actually see it moving. And it counts each second. Okay? So we're going to record the matching time. We're going to look at what time the clock says, and we're going to write that time in the digital clock. All right? Do you know what time this one says right here? Can you tell? Where is the hour hand pointing so that we know the hour? Well, it's pointing at the 7, so we know the hour is a 7, isn't it? We also know that we can count the minutes by 5s. The minute hand's pointing to the three. We start here and say five, ten, fifteen. It must be seven fifteen. And if that's what you said, then you got it right. All right, let's try another one. What time is this one? Do you remember when the minute hand is pointing to the twelve? It's o'clock, and then the hour hand tells us which o'clock it is. If you said two o'clock, you got it right. We write a two and a zero and a zero because there's no minutes. It's just at the o'clock, okay? Let's look at this one. Now look at the hour hand. The hour hand is not quite on the 10. It's almost to the 10. It's in between the nine and 10 still. So we go with the smaller number because it's not at 10 yet. It must still be nine. So the hour is at nine. Okay, can you tell where the minutes are? Where's the minute hand pointing? At the 10. Let's count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. It's pointing to the 10, so that's 50 minutes. We can also say it is 5, 10 minutes to 10, couldn't we? Because it's only 10 little lines away from being at the o'clock, isn't it? And then it would be 10 o'clock. So we can say it's 10 minutes to 10. Or 10 minutes before 10, couldn't we? Or 9.50. Let's try this one. The hour hand is pointing to the 10, so we know that the hour is 10. Where's the minute hand pointing? We can count by fives. 5, 10. So the minutes are at 10. The time is 10.10. 10. We can also say that it's 10 minutes after 10, couldn't we? Now look at this one. It gave us the time, but there's no hands on the clock. We need to draw the hands. The time is 3.40. Well, that's really close to 3.30, isn't it? Do you remember what happens with the hour hand when it's at the 30? We need to draw the hour hand, and it's going to be in between the three and the four, isn't it? And the hour hand is shorter, so we're going to draw it about that long. And where would the minute hand go? Let's find 40. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. It would be pointing to the 8. That would be 340. We could also say that it's 
5, 10, 15, 20 minutes before 4, isn't it? Because the minute hand, when it comes up here, it would be at 4 o'clock. And remember, the minute hand is connected to the hour hand with a gear, and as the minute hand goes around, it makes the hour hand go around, right? So if the minute hand moved up to here, it would be 4 o'clock. So this is 20 minutes before 4 or 340. Let's try this one right here. It says 1130. We need to draw 1130 for the hands. Remember, when it's at the 30, then the hour hand is in between two numbers. But which two numbers would it be between? 1130 is after 10 o'clock, and it's after 11 o'clock, isn't it? But it's not 12 o'clock yet. So because it's after 11 o'clock, but not 12 o'clock yet, it's going to be in between the 11 and 12. It's after 11, but before 12. So we're going to draw the hour hand in between. And the minute hand, when the minutes are on 30, the minute hand would be at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It would be at the 6, wouldn't it? We draw the long minute hand going to the 6, okay? 11.30. Let's try this one. Do you know what time this one says? The hour hand is in between the 5 and the 6, and the minute hand is pointing to the 6. So it is in between here, so the hour hand is after 5 o'clock, but it's not 6 o'clock yet. If it's not 6 o'clock yet, that means it's still 5-something. So we know the hour is 5, and we can count the minutes by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So if you said 5.30, you got it right. Let's try one last one. What time does this one say? The hour hand is in between the 1 and the 2, so it's after 1 o'clock, but not 2 o'clock yet. So it's one something. So we know the hour is a one something. We can count by fives unless you remember what number minute the nine is. Do you remember? Let's count five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. If you knew it was 45, good job. The time here is 145, okay? Let's try a checkpoint review. Let's see if we can match these to the right one. How long does it take to brush your teeth? Does it take two hours or does it take about two minutes? Which do you think? If you said two minutes, you're right. I don't know anybody who would want to brush their teeth for two hours. Remember, a minute is about how long it takes to count to 60. So you'd count to 60 two times for two minutes, wouldn't you? How about here? How long does it take to buy groceries? About an hour or about a minute? Could you go in your car and go to the grocery store and put all the groceries in the cart, go to the cashier, put all the groceries in bags, put the bags in the car and drive home in the time that it takes to count to 60? <laughs> no, you wouldn't have enough time to even get to the grocery store, would you, unless you lived real close, but you still wouldn't have time to buy all your groceries, would you? So it would take about an hour to buy groceries, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but it would be about an hour. How about to get ready for school? Can you wake up, put your school clothes on, eat your breakfast, get your stuff in your backpack, get your lunch ready, brush your teeth, fix your hair in one minute? Or would it take about an hour? That would take about an hour, wouldn't it? A minute wouldn't be enough time, would it? Okay, we're going to continue talking about time in the next video. And we're going to talk about elapsed time. That is telling how much time has gone by. Okay? I'll see you there. Keep up the good work. Bye.